with an Israeli tech firm says they're able to use nanotechnology to fight food toxins, a growing problem with factory and mass-produced commercial farming. Inspecto says their solution is able to cut down on contaminated food and helps reduce food-related illnesses, a major issue, of course, as we head into the winter holiday season. With us now on set is Yair Moneta, the co-founder of the food safety startup Inspecto. Thanks, Yair, for being with us. Tell us more about Inspecto. What does it do? Hi, Jeff. It's a pleasure to be here. So uh, Inspecto realized that the entire food industry has a very significant need and desire to know as much as possible about the contaminants in the food system and the food they produce. However, currently, they are unable to monitor the food contaminants um, as they would want to. Uh, and we've developed a method using nanotechnology, nanoparticles, that enable us to detect contaminants at very low concentration levels that will enable us to give the food companies the ability to monitor on-site food contamination. What kind of food toxins are we talking about? Are we talking about with meat or with produce, or what kind of uh, toxins are, or, or should be concerned? It's a good question. So there are many different types of food contaminations. Um, there are biological ones, such as salmonella. There are post-production ones, such as acrylamide, um, allergens. E. coli, of course, with of lettuce course, and greens. Of course. Uh, pesticides, overuse yeah. of pesticides is also dangerous. And every industry has their own um, typical contamination issues that they would want to monitor. And we're targeting those contaminants that need ongoing um, immediate results and uh, a large amount of scans. So what does the nanotech do? I mean, obviously, the nanotechnology, really small uh, innovation here. What is it doing physically? So what we've been able to do is attach very low-cost nanoparticles to specific contaminants, and then it enables us to enhance their uh, optical signal, and then we can both identify and very important very importantly quantify the amount of contaminant in uh, the food what kind of response have you gotten from the food industry are they receptive to this uh, because they want to learn more they want to understand using this they could really help nip this uh, in the bud or do, are they resistant uh, to it because so, so that's pretty interesting Jeff when we started inspecto uh, we were sure that well you know the food companies just want us to eat as much as possible and they don't really care as long as we buy the food but the, the deeper we dug we found out that the food companies want us to eat healthy food they want us to go back and buy their products and they want to do as much as possible to make sure that we eat safe food I guess I mean if a company if you get sick and you know you believe you know which company had the food that made you sick, you're not going to want to buy them again. So it's, there's a incentive to use, to exactly. know that it's Exactly. Brand damage can be very devastating for the food companies. This is something that they very, uh, they work very hard at monitoring. And right now, because they're confined to conventional lab services, the amount of checks that they can do, that they can perform, is pretty low. And, and that's what we want to change. Are you up and running now with Israeli uh, food manufacturers and processors? Are you international? Tell me the growth. So, so first of all, we were very fortunate to, to uh, partner up with uh, the Strauss Group, which is one of our investors. And right now, we're actually running another fundraise, which is actually open to the public if they want, uh, using uh, uh, Exit Valley platform. Uh, we are uh, working with several very, very high-profile companies which have uh, factories all over the world. Mm. Although this is a problem that affects the whole food production chain from field to fork, we've decided to uh, work with food producers first and foremost because they're the ones who get, uh, um, they're the ones who are much more pro-innovation. Uh, they want more to scale receptive. up, exactly, they want to scale up the amount of scans that they make. And at the end of the day, they're the ones who, if there is a food safety issue uh, and a recall, they're the ones who suffer the most.